Mylene Wood, and this is today's episode of Bag Lunch. Today we're going to look at a group of needlepoint handbags that celebrate women's hobbies. As I had mentioned many times earlier, these bags took a lot of time and money to execute. So women chose subjects that were important to them because after putting all of that work into what was truly a work of art, they wanted the bag to represent who they were and tell people about what was important to them. This first bag celebrates theater. The person who created this and wore it was probably who, someone who valued theater, perhaps even was an actress. Tally Ho. This next one was done by a woman who clearly was involved in fox hunting. And once we turn it around, we see that she has also signed the work with a French horn and a crop. This is a bag that was done by and for a music lover. If you notice, we have a violin at the front with some music. And when we turn it around, there is a tambourine and a recorder and again, more music. And this also has a beautiful detail in that flowers were worked into the motif. This is a bag that was clearly created by somebody who enjoyed playing cards. So we have a king of diamonds and on the other side, the queen of hearts. And what I also really enjoy about this is the vibrant choice of color. And speaking about queen of hearts, this was a mass manufactured handbag that is quite fun. It was done by the company Sore, and we have seen examples of their embellished and ornamented work on earlier segments. But here, the motif is a Queen of Hearts card, and it is also sort of ornamented with big rhinestones and sequins and some gold braid. And this was a bag that one could have purchased at a department store. And when we turn it around, all the special work was only on the front. The remainder of the bag is made from burlap. Our final example today is perhaps one of my favorites in this theme. This is a pair of cards, a queen of hearts, an ace, excuse me, let me do this again. This one is one of my favorites in this theme. We have a queen of hearts and a king of spades. And the same design is on both sides. So for that reason, I want to believe that this might have been a pre-made canvas that the women simply filled in the background color and sent it off for finishing. But it is a lovely oversized bag that truly makes a big statement. Thank you for joining us for today's bag lunch.